There are several annual political discussions, speeches, and commitments devoted to the middle class. The fact, though, is that the middle class isn't growing or as fascinating as it was a few decades ago. The current situation for the middle class is quite unstable. Although not destitute, it lacks access to basic services that were formerly taken for granted. But then again, what is the middle class? When individuals are considered to be part of the middle class, it means that they have some savings, are not completely reliant on their income, and are not always searching for new employment opportunities. Their typical salary can support a family of four comfortably. Former Deputy Director of the U.S. National Economic Council, Diana Farrell, defines a middle-class household as one that has enough disposable money left over after paying for basic needs, such as food, clothes, and housing to spend at will. In this way, middle-class individuals might have a comfortable standard of living even if they can't afford the finer things. The middle class's standing has been further weakened in recent years due to stagnant salaries, increasing prices, a weakening economy, and an unstable political climate. Things they could formerly afford are now out of reach for them. And no, we're not taking extravagances like a boat, a private aircraft, or a mansion into account. In this video, we are going to discuss 15 things that the middle class can no longer afford. So be sure to stay with us till the end. At number 15 we have vacations. There was a time when middle-class families often took holidays to break up the routine and spend quality time together. This is obviously not doable at the present time. But, unfortunately, middle-class families nowadays cannot afford to take holidays without making significant sacrifices. 54% of middle-income workers in a recent statista study said they saved for a trip by foregoing purchases of expensive products like gadgets. 47% of middle-income earners said they cut down on going to the cinema for a few months. 45% said they cut back on eating out for a few weeks. Sad, right? In order to go on vacation, they forego their usual means of amusement and a few minor comforts. Even by doing all this, they still aren't always able to save enough money for a relaxing trip. Despite having access to paid time off, many workers choose to skip vacations because of the increasingly stressful nature of the modern workplace. At number 14 we have new automobiles. In today's world, automobiles can't be ignored. But does every family own a car? The answer mostly is yes. Although the majority of consumers find immense joy in brand new automobiles, the middle class needs to make sacrifices in order to afford a vehicle. At number 13 we have student loans. Student loans are easily available all throughout the globe, allowing everyone to finance an education. Well, this is not the case with middle-class people. Due to the skyrocketing expense of higher education, it is more challenging for middle-class students to repay their student loans. There will be a tremendous increase in debt as a consequence of this. Along with this lending, standards have also been tightened for middle-class households. Youngsters from middle-income families may not be able to afford a better life than their parents. This is a very alarming situation. At number 12 we have emergency savings. Middle-class families could formerly save up to one-third of their salary for emergencies. However, in the modern world, most people are so preoccupied with meeting their immediate needs that they neglect to set up any savings for a more distant crisis. Around 18% of people in the United States have no savings at all, and 28% are saving less than 5% of their monthly income. The figures are a clear indication of how the middle class has almost no money to use in case of an emergency. At number 11 we have Retirement Savings What is your long-term plan? We're going to suppose that you went to college, got a nice career, worked until you were 60, put your kids through college, and are now enjoying retirement while traveling the world with your loved ones. Sounds familiar, right? Well, I guess that describes the majority of us. Nevertheless, only the most disciplined among us can really save enough money on a consistent basis to ensure that our retirement dreams become reality. It's hard to put away any money for retirement when basic necessities are so expensive. Even those who work their whole lives do not save anything for old age. And number 10 we have healthcare. Quality healthcare must be a top priority for every society. But is it possible for the middle class to afford that? The answer is no. Those in the middle class are often excluded from health insurance programs like Medicare 
and group plans offered by employers. But others who purchase it through third parties struggle to meet the hefty rates. As a result, they lose access to health care insurance. At number nine, we have childcare. In most middle-class households, one parent remains at home to care for the children, at least throughout the formative years. This is devastating news for supplementary income in today's weak economy and will likely lead to spending cuts. According to the Center for American Progress, the typical middle-class family spends 20% of their yearly income on daycare. The report finds that throughout the United States, the cost of childcare per year is more than the national median rent. This depicts a scenario in which a family's ability to save for housing, retirement, and other forms of saving is being impacted by the high expense of daycare. At number 8 we have marriage before turning 30. It may be necessary to postpone the wedding if you come from a middle-class family. Getting married at a young age is a luxury that many middle-class bachelors just cannot afford. Most of these individuals wait to get married until they have established themselves professionally and financially. If the parents don't have enough money saved, they may not be able to help out their children who get married young. You need to know when to break the financial ties with your children if you want to keep your financial house in order. At number 7 we have Healthy Foods It's common knowledge that whole, natural foods tend to cost more than their processed counterparts. This explains why people with lower incomes in industrialized nations tend to be fatter than those with higher incomes. But the middle class is also not immune to the obesity epidemic. Unfortunately, their unhealthy eating habits have only become worse with time. They are choosing processed, high-calorie items rather than unprocessed, healthier options because they cannot afford the former. Due to their perceived high cost, even the most fundamental vegetables and fruits are seldom eaten. At number 6 we have Brand Name Items When times are tough financially, the first thing to go in a household is the budget for branded goods. The middle class is suffering because they can't afford to keep buying name brands as they used to. These families suffer the most since they can't afford even the simplest of luxuries nowadays. At number 5 we have Dental Work Purchasing dental insurance is an extravagance that many middle class families cannot afford. Besides that, Dental plans often only cover half of the major operations, and as a consequence, one in four persons aged 20 to 64 suffer from at least one untreated tooth issue. At number four we have skipped paychecks. The middle class was distinct from the poor because its members did not have to worry about making ends meet from week to week. Sadly, that's not the case anymore. More than 38 million American middle class families are barely getting by. Consider how things might be in other nations. The unfortunate fact is that the middle class is no longer where it once was. That time is long gone and had some sort of status, some savings, a decent house, and better opportunities. But currently the middle class are fighting for their life. Help from the government and the economy is necessary for its recovery. At number 3 we have Cigarettes Cigarette costs and taxes have gone up, putting them out of reach for middle class individuals. The high price of cigarettes places a major financial burden on smokers. As awareness efforts highlight the dangers of smoking, more people have decided to give up the habit entirely. So many middle-class people can no longer afford to smoke. And number two we have television. Due to inflation, some middle-class families may find it difficult to purchase a television set or a TV subscription program. High-definition TVs now cost more than many families can afford on a monthly basis, thanks to technological improvements. Along with this, many families are also deciding not to subscribe to cable or satellite TV at all due to the increased prices on everything. Finally, at number one, we have home. As housing prices continue to rise, the American dream of house ownership is edging farther and further out of reach for many middle-class families. Due to rising housing costs and little availability, many middle-class families are finding it difficult to put together the necessary funds for a down payment and mortgage. Well, even stable income families may have difficulty keeping up with the cost of living and saving for a house due to sluggish pay growth in many places. That's all for today's guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon for any new updates. See you in the next one.